today we're going to be having a look at the brand new millimeter wave presence detection sensor to be released by Apollo Automation. This time it's got the LD2450 chip in it which allows for multiple person presence detection as well as zone detection. So I was lucky to get a pre-release of the MTR1 to try it out and show you guys. Now, this product ships either with a CO2 monitor or without it, that's an option. And you can also select whether you want the little articulated wall mount. It does come with this little standard plastic stand already in the package. So this is a multi-zone. It can track up to three people in a room. Um, it's got the RGB light included. It's got the little multi-tone buzzer. It's got a Lux and a UV sensor. So having it's a look at our 3D printed case, it's got lots of ventilation. Now the only difference is that your USB-C will be instead of the side here, it will be on the back. And that is so that it can be used on the outside of a wall wart. They will be supplying an optional extra of a USB male to male that will connect this directly to your wall wart. Um, the way that they've done this, it pops off like this instead of sliding. I think that's definitely improvement, fits together much more nicely. Then if we look at the device itself, uh, we've got the millimeter wave sensor plugging in on the top there. And if we take that off, it just slides off quite easily like that. If we look at our main board, we've got our ESP32, we've got our LED just over here, a multicolored LED, which is really cool. And this also has the buzzer on it. You also have an option of this 3D printed unit that you can actually buy to actually mount this and set it at any angle. So you connect the sensor up to a five volt power supply, search for the Apollo hotspot, put in your password and away you go. So being an ESP home device, this will just show up in Home Assistant and you can adopt it. So if we look at the operation of the device, um, you'll see if I'm moving, we get a one on the moving target. And if I'm just standing still, we get only a one on the presence. The target angle, the maximum I can get is close to 60. It's about 57 degrees. And at the moment I'm on the one side, there we go, 58 degrees. If I start moving across the room towards the other side of the room, you will see that it's moving into the positive. So we're getting some really good angles. Now, the moving direction, stationary, moving away, moving towards for some reason is not working. It only shows moving away even if you move towards. Apparently this is an ESP home fault that they're hoping to get sorted soon. The distance re works really well. You can see there, as I move around the room, we can see the target distance and the target speed as well, changing there as I'm moving back and forth and we can see the X and Y coordinates so you can clearly see as I move around the room we're plotting my movement both on the X and the Y axis so this is really really awesome now if we want to set up a zone we scroll down here to the zones zone one we set an X and a Y so I'm going from 0 to 999 for the X and the Y from 0 to 999 so I've created a second zone, 1,000 to 2,000 on the X and the Y. So now if we go and have a look at the zone count, if I move into that first zone, you will see there that we will get the first zone popping up with a 1. There we go. So that's where. Now I've got three people walking around in the room, but for some reason or other, I could only get a maximum of two people showing on the target count. Now, when I spoke to the guys at Apollo, they said that with a really big room, it was a bit flaky, but they were able to get three targets showing. So one and two seems to be working great, but three seems to be a little bit flaky at the moment. Now, someone in the Home Assistant community has created this amazing little graphical representation. So you'll see it actually shows the people moving around in the space. Now, I haven't got this working myself, unfortunately, yet, but I will paste a link to the code in the description of the video. Please let me know what the trick is and if you can get it working. Now, I really love how Apollo has included this little buzzer on these sensors. 
So the buzzer works in the way I've just got it going here on a button, but you could trigger it with any of the outputs of the sensor. So all we do is we call a service on the Apollo, and all I do now is I go and I paste in one of these strings, and I'll put a link in the description of multiple different songs. And all I do now is I'm going to trigger this, and now there is an HLK radar so app can, that you can download on your phone, and that's cool because once again you can see this little graphical representation of where people are moving around the room. So this is a great little thing to download, and from this you can also upgrade the software on the millimeter wave sensor. Just go to the upgrade section and upgrade it. Anyway, this is all for me now. I'm really blown away by the sensor. Feel free, check it out for yourselves and let me know. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.